Hi everyone, welcome in. How are y'all doing? How is everybody doing today? I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Please let me know if you guys can hear me okay and if everything's good on your end. I was just getting some things set up and that's why stream is a little bit late tonight, but we're all good and we're ready to go and I'm excited. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. Hi Maggie, hi Elizabeth, hi Lori, Shannon, Carolyn, LurkQuest, why? Hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome in, welcome in. Please let me know if you guys can hear me and that everything is good. And I have a surprise for you all, which you probably know if you guys already. I do August first. I do August first. Sorry, I'm like resetting the date for our reset. <laughs> I had to get the time of year correctly because we're doing a summer island, if you guys didn't know. Um, but I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome in. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day so far. And yeah, I'm really excited for tonight's stream. It is our wine night, if you guys didn't know. Um, and another fun thing that um, we're doing today as well is face cam stream. So I'll turn on my face cam in just a second. I just wanted to get everything situated before... We do that and part of that is deleting my animal crossing cotton thing <laughs> I'm trying to remember how to do this um, okay I remember how to do this manage data <laughs> I know how to do this I know how to do this give me a moment but I hope you guys are all doing well happy Saturday and today we're going to be um, resetting my Animal Crossing Island, like I said. And it's going to be a very, very fun... It's going to be a very, very fun night. And it's officially deleted, so we can get started. And here I am. Hello. Welcome in. If you guys haven't seen my face before, this is what I look like. But welcome. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys have your beverage of choice. Does not have to be wine, like I said. It could be literally any drink that you are interested in drinking. But tonight we are going to drink some wine, hang out together, and it is going to be a wonderful night. So I hope you guys are all doing well. And yeah, this is me if you haven't seen my face before. And I have my white wine. So it's going to be a very fun night. I hope you guys are all doing very, very well. And thank you for dropping in to say hello. Let me make sure if we can hear okay. We're all good. You're all good. And in case you are wondering, I haven't released what the... Um new island theme is going to be. It is going to be a secret that I will tell you guys once we get the island that I'm looking for. So, And another fun thing is I don't know what the island name is going to be yet. I haven't decided what it's going to be yet. <laughs> but obviously I do know my own name. I have an idea about what the layout of the island map I want to be is as well. So I'm pretty set on that. The only thing I'm a little bit unsure of is the... Um, name of the island. I have two choices out I might want to go for, but I haven't officially decided which one. Hi, Barissa. Welcome in. How are you? Welcome, welcome. And you love resets? Dahlia, you are brave. Thanks for resetting New Island Fun. I love New Islands. I'm always up for a New Island. And I'm very excited to have you guys all here while we do the reset. Hopefully it won't take us too long to do the um, island picking, but at the same time we have all night. Not all night. We have several hours. Um, several hours to, to restart, but hopefully it won't take us that long. Okay, I'm doing orange hair. We're doing... I always have... Everyone else at this point has their set choices for their restarts, right? Like the color of the hair, their choice of villager, what everything looks like, you know? Hi, Karen. Welcome in. And hi, Maggie. How are you doing? It's been five months since I had my first Animal Crossing. Do I have a lot to do or can I restart? It's completely up to you why you can absolutely restart. It's up to you. It is your island, your choice. 
And hi, Barista. First time catching a stream. We'll be lurking while I clean my room. No problem. Thank you so much for being here. Enjoy your lurk. And thank you so much for dropping in. Have an amazing time with the tidying up. <laughs> well, not amazing time. I hope you. I hope it goes by quickly for you. Your skin looks so nice and glowy. I'm jealous. Thank you. It is. I'm wearing makeup, of course, but I do have quite clear skin after years and years of struggling with not good skin. So, but I'm very, I'm very excited to have you guys. This is my third ever um, face cam stream. I don't typically face cam, as you guys are aware. And if you are new here, it is a new thing for me. So, um, hopefully, a thing that'll be more consistent in the future. But for right now, it's something I'm experimenting with. You know. Uh, okay. Yep. Northern Emirates here. I'm excited to see what your next name is. I just re I just started watching your channel, but I love your past themes. Thank you so much. And if you are enjoying my previous themes and you're looking forward to new themes from me, my next video for my new Western town is going to be up either tomorrow or Monday. I just have to finish editing the video, but that is going to go up. I did my first build for that island, which was an entrance build is typically most people start with their entrances um okay do i like any of these maps hmm. i kind of like the one on the bottom right a little bit i kind of like the double um river mouth moment at the bottom this one has that as well actually these are incredibly com similar to each other the only real difference is that this one is a little bit further away in terms of the resident services. I don't like any of them enough. No, we're gonna read. We're gonna redo. We're gonna redo. We're gonna restart. And like I said, I am looking for a specific. I'm not looking for a specific map. I'm not looking for like one, one specific map. But just like a general like, I want my entrance and my plaza to be far from each other. I want like either a blue or green airport I think would match my my theme the best and I don't really have a preference for my flowers or for the um fruit that we get great thank you how are you enjoy your wine thank you Maggie and I'm doing good thank you thank you so much for asking Hi Dahlia, just playing some ACN and relaxing. I've been sick with acute bronchitis, acute upper respiratory infection, and acute synonitis. And now my husband and son are sick too. I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope that you feel better. I hope that you feel better and I'm sending you and your husband and your son the best of luck and I hope that you guys all feel better soon. I'm so sorry to hear that. But thank you so much for joining in, Lisa. We've missed you. I hope you're doing well. Uh, bottom right kind of look like a music box it did kind of look like a music box that's true for a second i thought you were talking about my screen i'm like i look like a music box no. <laughs> you were not talking about me okay let's get started i should probably keep track of how many rounds we reset but i'm lazy so we're not probably gonna do that i mean we might we might if anyone wants to keep like a general tally but <laughs> we're gonna bother like fully keeping track How's your day? My day was pretty good. My day was pretty good. I finished up the uh, build for my new island, like I mentioned. I did a little bit of relaxing and just, you know, had an overall chill day. I was supposed to go to uh, my friend's house or my family's house for a party, but I didn't end up going. But honestly, a part of me was debating not doing the face cam, but I'm like, I, I already agreed to doing face cam. I promise we have to do it. And I keep my promises. So I had to put makeup on at like 8.30 at night or 7.30 at night before stream. <laughs> which is fine. Which is fine. Good. Thank you so much. Of course. Feel better. And what's interesting, so if you haven't been on the channel before, if you're interested in what wine night is, I've only never done it once before, but essentially, when I drink wine after like two glasses, I'm like, you know, a little like tipsy. 
So it's going to be like a slightly tipsy Dahlia stream, so you guys get to hang out with me um, as I get progressively more and more tipsy. I'm not like a terrible drinker or anything like that, and I don't drink very, very often. But when I do, wine is like usually one of my favorite to go for. And it's like, you know, it's a, it's a cozy little vibe. It's a nice glass, eat glass of wine, relaxing. I do have a little bit of Sprite in here, so it's a little bit uh, watered down. Just so that I could have more glasses if need be, you know. Okay, and then if you are interested, feel free to get yourself a beverage. It does not have to be alcohol of any kind. Just get yourself something cozy and enjoyable that you like to drink and hang out with me as we do a couple of resets. Let's see how long, like I said, it's going to take us. Um, okay, noted this one, noted this one, noted this one. This one I'm not mad about. My plaza and the airport don't like line up, which is not an issue for me at all. My question is is this the map that I want to choose let's actually go for this map let's see who we end up as our villagers because another thing I am very very picky about is my starter villagers they don't have to be the best villagers in the entire world but I do want them to be villagers that I enjoy so we'll see we'll see And I also do have my water bottle here, so I'm staying hydrated as I drink my wine. And if you guys haven't seen it before, I have I have a um a Walla water bottle, which I only just recently got. And it's my favorite water bottle. I love it. I love it. Oh my god, face cam. Hi Gabby, how are you? Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And yes, face cam. My third ever face cam. I cannot believe it's been three years of me making videos, almost a year of me streaming, and I've only done three face games. <laughs> it's embarrassing, but to be honest, I'm like, I'm just lazy. Like, half the time that I stream, I'm wearing pajamas, I don't have makeup on, like, it's just, it's a lazy, it's a laziness thing. It's not because I'm afraid to talk to the camera, like, I'm talking to you guys perfectly fine here. I did also have an issue trying to set up the face cam, because I haven't done one since, I think, like, October maybe once since October, I think it's, it was like December or something, and it was, um, it was a struggle trying to figure out, um, how to get it reset up, because my face cam itself is not working. Um, I need a new idea for Animal Crossing. What is your, what, what type of year, what time of year do you want to decorate in? Do you want to do a summer island? Do you want to do a spring, fall, winter? And then from there, decide if you want to do city or natural. See, I like based almost this entire a bit, uh, thing on the fact that I wanted to do a summer island. Okay, we have Antonio, which is fine, and it's a green airport. Which I, did I say I wanted a green airport? I think I said I was okay with green. I think I want blue over green, but we have whatever that frog's name is, and I don't want to have her, so we're resetting again. <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, packing up the house to move because we finally bought a house with a big yard. That's so exciting. Congratulations. Congratulations. I hope the smooth, the, the smooth, the move goes by smoothly and that everything goes, goes well for you. I wish you the absolute best, but that's very, very exciting. After we move and get settled, I'm planning on getting back into AC. Very exciting. Very exciting. Honestly, I told you guys like two weeks ago, I'm supposed to be on an Animal Crossing break. Clearly, that didn't last very long. Because <laughs> here I am playing, playing more Animal Crossing. I'm also gonna quickly add the fact that I'm doing face cam to the title because I think some people might join in if they knew that I was face camming for the first time in a while. Gigi's an acquired taste. She truly is. <laughs> I don't hate her by any means. I just don't want her as a starter. Because the thing with the starters is you do have to live with them for a while, you know? So, just for my own, you know, peace of mind, I'm going with somebody else. <laughs> it doesn't have to be the perfect villager, but it has to be a little bit better than Gigi, you know? I want to do late spring, early summer, thinking maybe farmer's markets. Ooh, you could do like a nice, uh, like just like small town. Like it doesn't have to be a specific type of specific theme. I think like late spring, early summer is the perfect time to do this, like a regular traditional Animal Crossing town. And then you can have like your farmer's markets with your, with your shops and just keep it like really cute and cool. 
Or you can even do, um, like, farm core if you would like to go in that direction. <laughs> Which I know farm core isn't for everybody. I love farm core. I think it's a very, very fun, fun theme. And a few people in the community have done farm core lately. But just, like, regular basic town core or norm, norm core, I guess you can call it, is probably one of the best ways of approaching an Animal Crossing island if you're like unsure exactly about what you want to do, you know? I don't like the starter interiors. Does anybody though? Does anybody really like the starter interiors? <laughs> no, I don't, I'm not a fan either. I feel like the sister lilies also refuse to move out. They are definitely a stubborn group, that is for sure. That is for sure. I'm gonna do some coloring and listen to stream. Enjoy your coloring. That is something I want to get back into. I have those like adult coloring books, like you know, like the ones where like they have like the more detailed designs. I have one, and I bought pencils and everything to do coloring, and I like basically haven't used it. Not because I'm like not against using it. I'm just been like lazy or doing other things. Um. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. This one's actually not too bad. I don't mind that the airport is more to the right. This one, no, this one, no, this one, no. Let's try the top right. I'm actually interested in seeing what this one looks like in terms of like distance from like airport to the plaza. Some food. I also forgot to put in Discord that we were live. Give me a second to do that. One thing I suck is keeping track of, like, everywhere I'm supposed to post that I'm live. But, I try. One minute. One good thing about doing uh, no face cam is typically you guys can't see me when I'm stopping to use my phone. My apologies. I'm almost finished. This is awkward. Okay, one sec, one sec. And we're good. Okay. Hey, how's the reset going? I brought my coffee. Hi, Livy. Welcome in. And it's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. I mean, we haven't picked an island, but we just found another island I'm willing to check out. So we're going to see how it goes. But the only thing I'm really looking for is like far enough away airport from Plaza. Hopefully either a green or a blue airport um, to go with the more summery kind of vibe. And that's basically it. A decent, decent starter villagers, you know. Doesn't have to be perfect, but they have to be like decent enough. I found the really detailed ones super overwhelming. I found one called Adorable Houses on Amazon and it's super kawaii and cute. Oh, for um, a coloring book? That's, that's cool. I found a lot of people use, like, they just go to, um, like, Pinterest or they go online and they find, like, coloring pages that they can just print off and color themselves, which is another really good way to, to do it as well. Has it been revealed I'm getting water? Nope, hasn't been revealed yet. It won't be revealed until we're doing um, the name of the island. Just know that the island, the only hint you guys have so far is that the island is set in summer. So it's definitely going to be a summer-centered island. I do not want coach. <laughs> I do not want coach as my starter jock. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like Phoebe. I would have been very happy with having her, but I do not like coach summer tropical core kind of i mean there's definitely like summery tropical vibes going on but not exactly in like your traditional like the way that i've done tropical in the past if that makes if that makes any sense i feel like half the time when i say oh yeah that makes sense right and no it doesn't <laughs> i was thinking of having to remove my 
wine, or not my wine, my lipstick from my wine glass. Hi, how is everyone? Hi, Bug. Welcome in. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. That was the brightest starter villager lineup. It definitely was. It definitely was. It was very, very yellow. Very, very yellow. Hi, Baka. Welcome in. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. And welcome in. Hope you guys brought your beverages. And you're ready for a chill, cozy night. I've only had, like, what? Four glass, four sips of wine and I'm already... I'm not feeling it, but I'm feeling warm. That's my biggest issue when I drink wine is I always feel really warm afterwards. I'm like... Huh. Like, I was going to wear a sweater, and I'm like, I cannot wear a sweater. If I wear a sweater, I will be, like, melting the first hour. Especially with, like, the light that's on me, too. Like, my, um, my ring light as well. Which, by the way, this ring light I got on Amazon for, like, 20-something dollars? 30-something dollars? Is it the best quality ring light in the world? No. But is it doing its job? And it has, like, multiple settings? It's doing pretty good. Because I know people who have, like, $300 ring lights, and I'm like, okay, the quality is incredible, but, like, is it necessary to have a $300 ring light? No. As long as it's, like, you can see yourself. <laughs> as long as you can see yourself, you're good. Which, like, I have terrible lighting in my room, so thank God we do have a light of some kind. Doing good working on my spring farmish island. Ooh, are you almost finished? I hope you're almost finished. I hope you're having fun with your decorating. What are you working on? If you don't mind sharing. What kind of wine are you drinking? I'm having, like, a Chardonnay. I actually didn't get a chance to actually go out and buy my own wine for the stream. So we had some, um, Chardonnay in the in the, the house and I'm like okay I had actually we had a couple bottles of wine but everything was sealed with a cork and I was already running behind schedule in terms of the time with having the issues with my camera and everything so I was not about to spend the next like 10-15 minutes to try to open a cork you know but it's good it's pretty good I'm more of a white wine to rosé wine person to begin with so whatever choice I would have gone with. It was perfectly fine with me as long as it tastes, tastes pretty good, you know? Um, okay, no. I, mm. Okay. Um, no to this one, maybe to this one. I'm actually very intrigued by this one. I like that the plaza is so far away. Because I feel like with the theme that I'm going for, I feel like I could, like, very well like, decorate really well the front of my island without having to worry about my plaza getting in the way. I'm actually kind of intrigued by this one. If we get decent villagers, this might actually be... This might be the map. This might be the map. Uh, I'm gonna bring some food. Gonna lurk for a bit while we wrap up dinner. No worries. Enjoy your dinner. Enjoy. Enjoy. Um, working on some transition areas and some pathing. I have flowers to clean up, but that is future me's problem. Fair enough. <laughs> don't do, just don't do too many time, too much time traveling because if you do, then you'll just, you'll have so much flowers and you'll hate yourself. Like I have many times in the past, many, many, many times. I am also a Chardonnay. A good Chardonnay you can't beat. You cannot beat a good Chardonnay, that is for sure. Hi Rika, welcome in. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Uh, oh, you're a shark nature drinker? No, I got <laughs> I got what you mean. I got what you mean. Uh, the river mouth could be an issue by res services. Eh, sh sh honestly, with I don't see myself doing a ton of natural water terraforming on this island. I feel like quite a bit of it will be fake, if that makes, if you know what I mean. And anyone who's just dropping in, welcome in. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Welcome to Wine Night. I hope you have your beverages, alcoholic or otherwise. And we are currently resetting my Jungle City Island, or we already have reset. And we are currently looking for a map for my new island. And this is what the, ooh, this actually... I don't hate that. I don't hate that the river mouth is that close. I feel like I can make it work if we do end up doing anything with the river mouth. And we also have cherries, which I'm totally fine with. But the question is, are we going to get good starters? Are we going to get a blue or green airport? No, we got horrible starters. Horrible starters. Okay, I don't hate Hazel. I'm just not a big Hazel fan. And I already said no to Coach once, so we're not doing that. Absolutely not. 
Absolutely not. That was that was a attack. <laughs> I refuse. I absolutely refuse. That is not happening today. But tonight my husband got me a cab. Cabernets are good too. Cabernets are good too. I feel like Chardonnays you can never go wrong with, which is why they're always a very good bet. But I love that your husband got you a bottle of wine for tonight. I, I think that was so cute. <laughs> I'm really tired and lazy today. Then get yourself some sleep, Rika. Don't feel obligated to stay in chat if you're tired. Make sure you, you get yourself enough sleep. Uh, just a PSA, don't have the beautiful island ordinance on while time traveling during the rainy season. It does not end up well. Oh, I've seen what it will do. Oh, you are going to have so many flowers. Good luck if that's what you did. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I would really love to get that map again. I really like the distance from the, like, the airport was to the beach. Or the plaza was to the beach. <laughs> I also have to constantly look back. Like, here's the camera, and here's my monitor where I'm playing the game. So every time I, like, I'm looking this way, is because I'm looking at my game um, monitor, but I'm at the same time wanting to address the camera. So I'm looking at you guys as well. So if I'm not looking at you, it's because my monitor is all the way over there. And my laptop is right here. <laughs> All right, we have four, 15. I do not accept this Hazel slander. Coach times two in a row is definite no though, yeah. <laughs> See, Hazel's an okay for me. She's just like, not my favorite. Um, But yeah, if I had to choose between restarting or keeping Hazel, I would I would have restarted. The, the coach thing twice in a row was definitely a bad omen in my opinion, so we're absolutely not going to be doing that tonight. Absolutely not going to be doing that tonight. <laughs> I refuse to, to, to start a new island with that kind of bad energy, you know. Hi, Dahlia, sending you good map vibes. Thank you, Planty Gaming. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Thank you so much for dropping in. He likes it when I have a glass or two. <laughs> you're cute, you're cute. I love that. I love that. Huge respect, and huge respect that he he uh, is the funder of your of your wine wine adventures. <laughs> if that's the word I should be using. Like I said, I'll never miss a Dahlia stream. Thank you, but I will get some sleep soon. Good. Like I said, you can always watch the stream back later if you like. Never forget that all my streams are always available on my channel afterwards. Um, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, we have the heart pond map, which I've had a few times before. We have this one, which is too close to the front of the island. This one is not bad. Um, this one's not bad either. I think I like this one a little bit more, though. Let's try this one. I Keep in mind, I have had the heart pond in, like, other islands before, so it's not my first time coming across it, but I do love the heart pond. I think it's so cute. So, so, so cute. Mini ACH me is being a menace. She keeps kicking up my path thing, picking up flowers and items that I don't want. Her swinging her axe and shovel at my villagers while trying to water their feet. Your mini you is a menace. An absolute menace. Oh my goodness. You have to be careful. You have to be careful. One thing I love about YouTube streaming is VODs stay up forever until you choose to take them down. That is so true. And, like, I have gone back to watch old streams of people I've watched on Twitch. And, like, if you're, like, a week past being late, you, they're gone. Which is why I think so many Twitch streamers have YouTube channels because they just post them on a VOD channel. But the fact that Twitch is like, nah, you're, you're gone after, like, two weeks. Or, like, however long it is. <laughs> I think it's two weeks. I could be wrong, though. I feel like I need to have my camera be here. I'm gonna rearrange this setup. This is a very new setup for me. What I need is a tripod for my camera because I'm using a webcam and it's resting on my my laptop. So I need to like figure out a situation where it could be better lined up, you know? 
just so that it's more here and then you guys can kind of see me this way versus this way because I feel weird having to talk this way and then I'm looking this way like it's not ideal but then I've, I've seen other people with their setups and I feel like mine's okay in comparison but I feel like we're having a lot of new people join today if you are new welcome my name is Dahlia I don't traditionally do face cam streams so if I appear awkward on camera that is why absolutely not did you guys see who we got? Do you see that mouse? Absolutely not. I feel like this is <laughs> this is not going well. This is not going well. I'm trying to do introductions and then a mouse shows up that looks like that. Oh, this is not good at all. Oh boy. But anyways, yes, welcome. And if you are new, feel free to subscribe if you would like to stay around and join the channel. You know, join our little community here. I still do play Animal Crossing, but I play other content as well. We've been playing a lot of Dreamlight Valley recently and some other other fun games that I have coming soon. I'm looking to get back into Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom very soon too because I haven't played either game in a very long time. So I think it would be really fun to get back into both of those games very shortly. But was that Moose? It was Moose. You know, the guy with the, the, the hair? With the hair? Absolutely not absolutely not absolutely not i am still learning how to set up my switch to play on the gaming console everything is a learning curve okay like every single thing is about learning when it comes to um everything <laughs> that was a jump scare no thank you moose exactly no thank you no thank you no thank you and are we doing the memberships today we are we are we'll do that probably after like an hour so if you didn't know um, Switch or Twitch. We're talking about Twitch and my brain just went immediately to Twitch. YouTube has generously given content creators like myself the ability to um, gift five or ten technically lucky um, subscribers channel memberships for the first for, for one month. So if you are interested in trying out being a member for a month, you could possibly win the opportunity to be a channel member. It is completely randomized, so I have no choice in who gets picked but if you're interested in being a member that is something that could possibly happen so I get five per each stream so today I'll be able to give five channel members the opportunity to be a channel member for basically half the month of March and half the month of April so very exciting and I hope that you enjoy um, and good luck to everyone I'll do it very very soon probably in the next like 30 minutes or so but um, hi, Miss Mew. Welcome in. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. The, uh, it's always the Jock Villagers that top Taw's map hunting. Surprisingly, it kind of goes 50-50 for me. I've had some really great Jock Villagers that I've always, like, I, I've grown to love over the time. Um, but there's some bad ones, too. There's been some bad ones. <laughs> some, some bad girl villagers, too. Like, some bad sisterly. So, I, I feel like it's, like, a 60-40 situation. But there's some really bad jocks, um, villagers in my opinion, and some pretty bad, um, sisterly too. So it depends on your preference, of course, but yeah. We'll see, we'll see who we get. We'll see who we get. I'm currently spiraling with my DVD Valley. I'm actually preparing a video for the, this week's Dream Snap. I told you guys I'm getting prepared to start decorating my valley, and I'm like, let's just do the Dream Snap, um, thing as my first, like, video. So that's what I'm currently doing. I'm trying to get it finished before before the um submission date so that's gonna be fun <laughs> i hope you guys are looking forward to seeing that we'll see we'll see um oh that's so nice exciting hi carolyn welcome in and yeah it's a very nice thing that that youtube um that youtube allowed content creators to do and it's nice because it gives you the opportunity to see what it's like to be a member. You get your access to the emotes and all that fun things. And if you are curious about being a member of the channel, link to that is in the pinned comment. It's also linked in the description of the stream as well. If you're interested in checking it out, there are two tiers available and you get access to exclusive perks, members only content, emotes and stream, a fun badge next to your name, and a lot of other really fun things as well. Um, okay, let me see... Let's go with this one just because I don't like the other ones, but I'm interested to see who we end up. I really like the placement of the plaza in this one. 
I feel like I should go through the list of all the different map options we have for AC and then just be like, this is the map that I want and just stick with it. But we'll see, we'll see. I saw something happened in a stream that I had no idea could happen. There was a viewer that was gifted some memberships and then they got one of the gifted memberships. That's weird. Oh, I hope that never happens. That's weird because if they're already a member, it shouldn't be an option for them to, to do that. Weird. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen because <laughs> obviously we want everyone to have like a full chance and opportunity, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. What was I looking for? Oh, hang on. I don't know what just dropped, but something just dropped. <laughs> give me give me one second, give me one second. I was wondering what just fell. My controller. <laughs> oh my god, that was embarrassing. I'm like, what just fell? Because like, like, my bed is right here, and I'm like, oh, something fell off my bed, but it was my controller. <laughs> my starters were Hazel and Buck. I was horrified and referred to them as Eyebrow Gang. Hazel got booted, but Buck lifted his way into my heart and became my favorite villager. So sweet. I love Buck. He's one of my absolute favorites. He was my OG starter, like one of my OG starters. And I love him. I love him. I don't like Buck. Um, I'm sorry, Rika. That is, that is the wrong, that is the wrong choice. You have to, you have to love Buck. In order to be a subscriber, you have to love Buck. I apologize for the inconvenience, but it's just, it's just the way that it is. Buck is perfect in every way, shape, or form. In my opinion, anyway. <laughs> I love Cherry. Cherry is very cute as well. She is very, very cute. I meant that they were gifting members and one of them got one of the gifted members that they were gifted. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. 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 That's still weird though. Oh, okay. I'm really sad because I wouldn't be against keeping this island, but I don't want the orange airport. Ciao. <laughs> we're starting. Mm, my bad. Sorry. 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 I don't know if you guys can see. Look how cute my shirt is. It has Snoopy. It's actually a sleep shirt <laughs> that I wear as a regular shirt. Um, but it has Snoopy and it has a heart on it. He's holding on a little balloon heart and it's so cute. It's so cute. I got it from um, Aerie, like American Eagle Aerie. It's so cute. I love this shirt. Love this shirt. Um, the wrong choice. <laughs> Who's Buck? Buck is one of the, um, what's it called? The horse villagers. He's the one with like, he's kind of like a brownish green color and he has big eyebrows. He's really cute though. I love him. Personally, if we got him today, I would keep him 100%. Words are hard. Words are very hard. <laughs> try having to talk in here and I'm having wine. Try, try talking and having wine. Hi there all, I actually reopened my old Animal Crossing save file the other day and forever. I had a great starter, can't remember the name of them now, a panda type bear, but she's... A panda type bear? Is she... Is it Pinky? Like if you're talking about one of the girl villagers, is it Pinky? Is she... If she's pink? Mac is so cute. See, I would have kept Mac. I love Mac. I didn't get a really chance to explain that. I love Mac. I would have been okay with the girl. What was her name? Charlize, I think, or whatever, whatever her name was. But I love, um, I love Mac. I would have been very, very happy to keep him. So very sad that we had to restart. <laughs> but I want the airport thing is like a non-negotiable because you can't change that. I could change my starter villagers, but you can't change the change the color of the airport. So gotta stick with it. Unfortunately, it's okay. I'm back. I missed the theme announcement. What are we doing? We actually haven't announced the theme yet because we haven't found a map yet. So I'm, 
announcing the theme when we get the island that we're looking for and we're doing the the name reveal and as we are doing the cycle through for all of the islands i'm also thinking about what my name is going to be because i haven't fully set on the theme name yet so bear in mind i might be like um i don't know what to name this island when we get to it so so hang on i feel like i thought i had something on my cheek i don't think i knew um, it's cool. You, you. I wish I had blue eyes. I really do. I have very, very boring brown eyes. Which, brown eyes are super pretty, don't get me wrong. But blue eyes are just so pretty. Alright, we're good to go. Uh, she kind of looked pearlescent. I think I wonder, do I restart? Do I refresh my... I tried to refinish my island in a cottage court look. I mean, restarting is definitely a, always a very good option. Um, but it's up to you. I mean, you can definitely rework an island to do to do um, cottage court very easily. I'm sure. Oh yeah, she's probably Judy, female villager. I wanted a more of a blue or a green airport. See, you can't unfortunately change your airport color, which is just ridiculous and unfair. Personally, I think it's unfair. I think that should be one of the few things that you should be allowed to change. At least we get to change our villagers. It's not like the original Animal Crossing game that if you have the villagers, they either stay or they leave themselves, which was, like, very chaotic. Especially for young me, who was incredibly scared of losing a villager when, um... When I was little. Um, I don't like any of these maps. I don't like any of these maps. Let's restart. I'm doing Medieval Fairy Core. Ooh, that's really pretty. That is very, very pretty. Mix Animal Crossing game. Please let us move our resident services and change the permanent buildings to something that fits our theme, please. If I could vote, if I could vote for anything, it would be that. Especially, like, changing the, the exterior of, the, of buildings. I'm, I'm fully on board with that. And if you had blue eyes, you'd be saying, I wish I had brown doe eyes. <laughs> that is true. Honestly, if I could choose any eye color, it would be green. Like a green, brown, hazel kind of moment. Like, I have kind of hazel eyes. I'm not like that girl with brown eyes that goes, my eyes are green and the light. They're not. But I do have some flecks of, like, green and gold in my eyes. But if I could choose any eye color, green is my absolute favorite. It's such a pretty eye color. It's so pretty. And honestly, my color brown is just boring. Like, if I had, like, dark brown eyes or very light brown eyes, I'd be like, oh, yeah, no, I'm really pretty. But, like, it's, like, a medium. It's, like, a medium brown, which is just, like, so basic, especially with, like, my hair color. Which, by the way, this is the last time you guys will see this hair color, which I don't even know what to call it, this color. It's, like, ten different shades because I'm dying my hair back to my ginger orange, like, next week, which I'm very excited for. <laughs> uh, ba -ba -ba. Hi, Kaylee. Welcome in. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Welcome in. How are you doing? Happy Saturday. Um, I'm a chronic restart addict. Oh, same. 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 Honestly, I've been, like, very proud of myself being able to at least finish my Jungle City. That was a lot of fun to finish. But I do have that tendency to constantly restart if I can. And which is why it has taken me as long as it has to restart and start off um, my new island and this one. So, um, girl, Cottage and Farm Corps are going to be my next island. Ooh, that's so fun. That's so fun. I'm always a very huge promoter, especially of Cottage Corps. I love Cottage Corps. So, I fully, fully support that. I hope you have a lot of fun with your new theme. Tons and tons of fun. I just started up my island designer to do nothing and then immediately close out of it. I mean, isn't that what we all do, though? Are we supposed to be doing something when we open the designer the designer app? I didn't think we were supposed to do anything. <laughs> I always just open, I put some pathing down, and then I immediately leave. Immediately leave. What island themes did everyone go for? I've done Tropical City and Jungle Ruins. I've got a second switch. I don't have the guts for... Uh, for a restart. I've done a lot of themes. I've done a lot of themes. I've done Cottage Core. I've done Tropical City. I've done Winter City. I've done Pastel Kid Core. I've done 
What else have I done? I've done a bunch of islands. I just finished a jungle ruin city. I've done farm core. I've done an autumn town. I've done a lot of islands. I've done a lot of islands. I'm very proud of myself, actually. Um, let's go with this one. I'm more interested to see who we end up with with this one. Doing good. Hope you're doing well. Just caught home from some errands. Hope the errands went well and everything went smoothly. And I'm doing good, thank you. I'm doing very, very good. I thought I was the only one who constantly restarted. Oh, Karen, no. So many people restart constantly. I mean, it's part of the fun of Animal Crossing, isn't it? <laughs> constantly restarting and changing your mind about your theme. I have dark brown eyes, and when I get mad, they get super dark and look black. See, I love that. Dark, dark brown eyes are one of my favorite eye colors. They're just so, like, mysterious and deep, and it's so pretty. So pretty. Like I said, mine are, mine are just really basic. Like, I have an okay eye color. It's just very, very basic at the end of the day <laughs> compared to other eye colors. I don't hate my eye color. It's just not, like, if I could choose, I'd choose something different. You know? Since I finally learned how to make fake buildings, fake buildings are like chef's kiss. I have fake buildings in the new build I was just finishing for my western town. I'm going to have so many fake buildings on that island. You have no idea how excited I am for that. There's going to be a ton, a ton of fake buildings. Did I get blocked because I said that about Buck? No, I can see you. You can get blocked. You didn't get blocked. You can get blocked for saying that you don't like Buck. You could get blocked. I'm watching. I'm watching you guys, but you, no. Not because of Buck. Um. Okay, here's the thing. I like the blue airport. I like the jock villager. I think his name is Bam, if I'm remembering correctly. But I've had Sylvana before, and I don't like her. So I am restarting again. But if I get Buck again, I'd be very happy with that. very very happy with that okay my daughter's eyes are green and she's blonde see that is such a pretty combo like is she like a light blonde dark blonde but that's so pretty that is so pretty I'm almost finished my one I will go get the other glass I probably have like two or three glasses tonight like I said I am cutting this wine with some sprite to, just so I can have more but Bam is really cute Bam is a baby I love him I love Bam he's adorable he is very cute I don't think there's a, a single deer villager I don't like um and Bam is definitely up there he's so he's so 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 cute Savannah ick yes yeah, Savannah is ick it's true it's true she was on my jaw what's it called she was on my trash winter city and she was one of the last villagers to move out. I don't know why. Like we said earlier, like the sisterly refused to leave. It's true. She refused to leave. I don't understand why. Um, thank God my name is short. Because if I had to write my, like a long name over and over again while resetting, I'd probably go a little bit crazy. I think it's already knowing that my birthday is on the 15th. Which is like a lot of scrolling. But not like a ton of scrolling. The kangaroos are scary. <laughs> I actually, I don't really like the kangaroos. I like the boy kangaroos. Like, I like Rooney and, and Walt. Is that his name? Or, what's the other boy kangaroo's name? I know Rooney, and then there's the one that has, like, the scar on his eye that wears, like, the karate uniform. I like him. But the girls, because they have the kangaroo in their pouch, it's like, eh. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. Not to be not to be rude to the the, the girl kangaroos in the game, but let's see. I would choose another another character over them for sure. She's a light bomb, see that's so pretty. Um, what's this really villager do you really really like? Um, okay, so I like Phoebe, I like Kat, I like most of the girl penguins I like, if the, if the sisterly ones. Um, I like Agnes. Um, I like a bunch of them. I just don't like the ones that we've come across so far, apparently. <laughs> but I do like the sisterlies, don't get me wrong. Some of them are very, very cute. 
Your eye color sounds a lot like my daughter's, like a warm brownish green. I love her eyes so much. Okay, you guys are making me so jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous of children for their eye colors. It's one of my one of my kids, um, one of my cousins' kids has the prettiest blue eyes, and I'm just so jealous of them. Like, ugh, it's crazy. Okay, um, let, ooh, this isn't the same one that we had before because this one has the, um the thingy the the peninsula here but i like i like the idea of having my plaza i think for this island a little bit to the right or the left so let's go with this one i love pashmina pashmina is so cute too pashmina is definitely a fave as well and phoebe's adorable renee is my favorite sisterly renee is adorable renee is so cute too renee is like wait are you talking about renee renee the horse though right not renee the rhino because renee the rhino i don't like Renee the horse, I love. Because she's a badass, and I, I respect it. <laughs> Kat is my favorite sisterly. She is another one of my OGs that I had on my first island. So her and Buck are, like, incredibly close to my heart in terms of, like, just how much I love them. And they're so sweet, and I love them very dearly. And, yeah, I love Kat a lot. The waves that babies imitate, the emotes at the exact same time, and they both blink at the same time, too, running away. And it's like, they could have just sat there. They didn't have to, like, have them do movements and stuff. I feel like that was a little unnecessary. I agree. I agree. Phoebe's house is insane. Is it? It's the lava one, right? Like, when you get her actual house and not her sisterly house? Yeah, I like it. Because she's a phoenix, right? So she has, like, the fire... Yeah, the horse. Yeah, she's cute. She's very, very cute. I like that she has a little earring and stuff, too. Speaking of Pashmina, we have Pashmina. We also have Cody. Okay, let me go to... Let me see. I like this one. I'm gonna go to the plaza and see if I like the distance that the plaza is, is from the thing. And then we'll decide. Cody, I don't really want all that much. We have peaches, which I'm not mad about. Um, okay, we're really far from the thing. Ooh, I actually... Let me just see what this looks like in terms of, like... Oh, I actually really like this. And this one's actually a little bit further away from the side. This one's not bad. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this map? I like this one. I like I like Cody too. Cody's cute. I've never had him before. Okay, should we just go with this one? We have peaches, which I'm cool with. We have a decent distance from the airport to the plaza. We have blue. We have the booty fruit. That's right. <laughs> this one's cute. I think I think I'm happy with this. Yes. Okay. We'll go with this. We'll go with this, which means I now have to think about what my <laughs> my name is gonna be for my my island. Oh no, oh no, now it's gotten serious. Excellent combo. Okay, you got it. You got it. <laughs> I like this map. I like it too. It's cute. It's a good good layout. I've had Pashmina before as a starter. She was my starter on my um some island a while ago. I'm sure. She was a starter on one of my islands before, and I like her. I've never had Cody before. He is a brand new, brand new villager for me. I'm officially out of wine, so I have to go get more wine this second. But I do have my water, which I should be drinking, so we'll do that for the next little bit. Next little bit, little bit. All right, let's go collect the tent, and now I have to think of the name. This is the scary part. <laughs> this is the part I didn't want to have to get to. I mean, that's scary. It's just, it's difficult. Because then you can't change it. Then you can't change it. I know what the theme, yes. Do you have a theme you want? Yes. I just don't know what the name is gonna be. You know what? I'm gonna tell you guys. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna get to the name portion in a second. And then when I get to the name portion, I'm gonna tell you guys what my name options are. And then I want you guys to tell me what you think the name of the island could be. And then we'll go from there. Okay, let's put my tent here, and then we'll grab theirs. This is the part that's, like, not boring, but, like, kind of repetitive. 
I like the my the the island um, map hunting. It's fun. Now we just have to find the villagers. I forgot how many bugs are on the trees when it's the summer. Give me your house. Please give me your house. I'll find you a spot. What do you guys think? We'll do, I think we, we'll do something similar to what we did for my jungle city. Um, we will have you, we'll, we'll, I'll tell you guys what I'm thinking and then you guys can give your suggestions in chat and then who, and then we'll pick out of like, we'll do a poll and we'll pick out of like two or three, two or three names. Cause I have, I technically have two options in mind. Technically, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm very indecisive. I think me picking an island name is probably my most difficult part of resetting. Because I love resetting, but when I get to the theme, I'm like, got my theme, perfect, ready to go. And then it comes to my map, and I'm like, or my name, and I'm like, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> I'm struggling a little bit. Okay, Pashmina, I will take your house, and I will find you a place to live. I'm not a fan of Cody. I like Cody. That's what's important. I always put my tent in that spot too. I feel like we're all at this point. I'll put all of our things on the on the the beach. I feel like. <laughs> Glad you found an island. I need to go to sleep. Have a great night and stream. Thank you, Maggie. Have a great rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, all finally able to catch one of your evening streams, Dali. Usually I'm asleep by this time. 9 p.m. here. It's 9 p.m. for me too. Glad to have you join, but make sure you get your good night's sleep. But happy to have you here. Maybe because it's a Saturday night. You're able to have a little bit more of a chill time. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to step away for just a second. When I come back, we're going to talk about the island name and all of that. And we're also going to um, continue with all of this. And then we'll be, I'll be back in like a second. I'm just going to go grab more wine because I'm officially finished, as you couldn't tell. Hey, Kalina, welcome and hi. I love resetting. It's very fun. Thank you for doing it soon. Actually, the new island will be Tropicore and it's going to be called Coconut Bay. That is so cute. We are doing a tropical kind of island for this this theme. So that is very exciting. I hope you have a lot of fun with your reset. So I will be back in just a second and then we will continue with our, our restart.
okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, I ran to the washroom. I got my wine. We're good to go. Uh, let me just catch up with chat really quick. I put my house in a genuine good spot so I don't have to move it later. Fair enough. Fair enough. I always move mine on the beach so I can move it out of the way. So when I want to finally decorate with it, then I know where it is. Then I know where it is. Recess became a lot less attractive after Denise's mask series, if anyone saw it. I did not see it. No. I'm having dinner. It is 6 p.m. in California. Rice and chicken. It's okay. I had rice and chicken for dinner tonight, too, actually. I had, like, a butter... It was, like, a butter lemon chicken kind of thing. It was really good, actually. I think it was 7 out of 10. Who can obey is such a cute name. It is a very cute name. The music is such cozy vibes. I'm glad. I'm glad. It's very... It's a very nice... I have to start adding more more music to the, the thingy for me. Um, because it's, like, just, like, the one that I originally started off with when I first started, uh, doing my, like, starting soon screen, you know? Um, but yeah. It is 12, 14 p.m. where I am. Ooh, gosh, happy Sunday, then. I'm assuming it's Sunday for you. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. I did a charcuterie for dinner. Oh, so good. I love charcuterie boards. I'm a very, I'm very picky though with my charcuterie boards because I only like certain things, but there's nothing better than like a very traditional, simple charcuterie board, you know? Hey, Dahlia, what island did we restart? Hi, Ebony. Welcome in and we restarted. Oops, sorry. I was not looking and I started wandering off. Um, we are currently restarting my Jungle City Island. Which I'm very excited for. And I haven't told you guys the name of the island yet or the theme or anything. Um, and we're going to do, I'm going to tell you guys what the theme is in a couple of minutes. And then we will do some voting on some names if you guys want to give me some island name suggestions as well. Ultimately, I'll have like the choice of like which one I want to go with. But I love getting your guys' opinions on what the island name should be. That's why we went with Solitude for my jungle city. Which I think is very, is very, very fun. Very, very fun. Had some fruit that I needed to use. Fair enough. Sometimes, honestly, charcuterie boards or like girl dinners are usually just a bunch of food that you needed to get, get rid of or like finish up before it goes bad. So I, I fully support that. Fully, fully support that. Sunbell, Sea Breeze, Capri, Coral Cove, Stardew, Sea Foam are all super tropical names. I love all of those names actually. I love all of those names, actually. I love sea foam. That is a really cute... Actually, I, or sea breeze. I love... I'll, actually, I like sea foam as well. Do I have 10? I have 11. We're good to go. We are good to go. Take all my things. We had pork chops and potatoes and green beans. Ooh, yum. I'm not the biggest pork chop fan, I will be completely honest. I always find pork is really dry. Like, I'm much more of a um, chicken or beef person if I had to choose. I would love a burger right now. I haven't had a burger in a really long time. Like, I had one at home, like, I think a week and a half, two weeks ago. But I, um... I'm looking for, like, a really, really good burger, you know? I had a giant chicken schnitzel roll that had, like, three meters of wrapping. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Schnitzels are good, though. Very, very good. Citrus. I'm not good at tropical names. Citrus is cute. Citrus is a very cute name, actually. I was thinking of possibly citrus, actually. Okay. Now it's time to reveal the island uh, theme. Um, but first, we'll do the um, free... Uh, memberships. So if you are interested in becoming a channel member, if you would like access to the channel memberships for one month, I have five free channel memberships to give away today. The only thing you have to do to make sure that you are qualified to receive channel memberships is if you go to my channel or if you are on desktop, there's an option for the join button. When you join for the community option, there is a, like, three toggle, like, le uh, what do they call it, like, three dots. Click on it and make sure that you are eligible to receive channel memberships. 
because if you are not eligible to receive channel memberships, you will not receive a channel membership. And I want to make sure that as many people are optioned to get the channel membership as possible, so that is fair for everybody. So I'll give you guys just a second to do that, and then we will um, we will do the channel memberships. Can I say by name? Any idea? Appleberry is really cute. I just take a burger for dinner. I'm so jealous. I might get a burger tomorrow night after work, actually. What about Lilico? It's Hawaiian. That's cute. Uh, we had meatball seasoned potatoes and some homemade rolls. Ooh, that sounds good, too. Plumera is really cute, too. So is Berry Side. And since I'm doing Reuben sandwiches, uh, Reuben sandwiches tomorrow, I wanted to clean out all the refrigerator. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, we will now do the channel memberships. Give me a second just to load the page for myself. But like I said, make sure you have channel memberships turned on so that you are eligible to receive them. But let me just go here. Channel gifting. All right, I'm gifting in three, two, one, go. So it is completely randomized. Five people will be gifted channel memberships for a month. Congratulations to those five people. Congratulations to Kaylee, Varian, Natalie, Electric Eel Cookie, and Evie. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back, Varian and Electric Eel Cookie. I know you have been gifted channel memberships before. Kaylee, welcome in, of course. Thank you so much for being a subscriber and welcome to the stream as a channel member so i hope you enjoy the perks that come with being a channel member for the next month congratulations to everyone who was selected um congratulations yes uh and i will be doing another round of gifting if not in the next stream in the next like week or so because i do have five channel memberships still left to give away for the month of march so congratulations to the winners and i hope you enjoy the perks i hope you enjoy the um What's it called? The emotes and make sure you're connected to members only discord by connecting your YouTube channel to discord and join the discord link is in the description of the stream as well. And I'm sorry, Rika, next time. I know it's completely random. I'm so sorry that you weren't chosen. Um, but okay, I'm now going to tell you guys what the island name is. Um, or what the island theme is. So as you guys are aware, we are setting this island in summer. I'm thinking like july august probably july and this is going to be a kind of retro summer kid core beach island i know it's a mouthful just think of like a beachy summer town with like vibrant kid core elements not kid core in your traditional sense but like kid core like fun vibrant colors and some cool graphic designs um and yeah so i'm very excited for the theme I have two name options that I've been thinking about on and off for the last like week or two. Um, the first one is Juice Box because I kind of wanted it to kind of maybe have like kind of a like a like a kid core vibe to it. Um, and there's another one that I had. Let me see if I can find it. Hang on. I was also thinking possibly a puddle because I think that one's really cute. Um, or even like sandbox or sandcastle, but I feel like those ones are too long. So now I want you guys to tell me some options. We've had a couple of options in the stream already. I'm actually going to end the other poll that we have going on. Thank you guys so much for the likes, by the way, and for getting to 74 likes. Appreciate all of you so much. Um, but let me know in the comments if there's any options for names you guys think would be cuter i really like juice box a lot and i think it's kind of cute cap capri Su capri sun i think is actually really adorable as well as if we're going in like the juice boss direction um but i'm not 100 percent sure <laughs> yeah i'm so sorry rika it's okay enjoy your lurk thank you so much kid summer camp kind of but more like city vibes but with in the summer so basically think like of a summer beach town, but with kid core elements. What about Karatland? Maybe. We have Sunshine, Juice Box, you guys like Juice Box, Sandbox is cute, Sunbeam, that one's cute as well. 
Um, hello, just got a notification saying I got a channel membership. Oh my god, I thought I got hacked. LOL, thank you so much. Love my little boba. <laughs> thank you so much, Natalie. Welcome in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And congrats on getting the channel membership. Uh, okay, I can't stay, but thanks again for the membership. And have a great stream, everyone. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Um, I'm curious about what channel memberships get you. Is it like Patreon? Kind of similar. So you get access to exclusive content. Um, you get exclusive members only group chat over on Twitch or on Discord. Sorry, I don't know why I keep saying Twitch. Um, you also get um, emotes you can use in stream. You get your own special um, badge that is your name during streams. Um... And yeah, other exclusive content, early access to videos, members only game night priority, tons of other things. But the list to that is listed in the top of the pin comment. If you click on it, it'll give you the option of everything that comes with being a channel member. It's also a great way to support my content. If you like my videos, you like my streams, and would just like to support me further as a content creator. Um, no obligation to anyone to ever become a member, but it is a fun time over here, and I love in support like appreciate all my channel members so apple juice apple juice is cute honeybee is really cute as well juice box seems to be a huge contender capri sun is really cute i'm actually kind of leaning more to towards capri sun should i do capri sun okay let me post a hang on hang on hang on sorry let me find it let me post a poll um what should oh i'm in capitals what should we we name our summer beach kid core island. <laughs> I'm gonna have to think of a better name to describe my island, but Juice Box is definitely a huge contender. So is Capri Sun. I kind of like the idea of Capri Sun, and also I can, it's like short enough, but I can also put it into two words if I wanted a two word one. Um, what else do we have? Seesaw or swing set? Seesaw is really cute. I like that one. Apple juice is really cute as well. Um, sandbox I really like, but I'm not sure if I really love Sandbox. I liked it over Sandcastle, and Sandbox is definitely more kid court to me, I guess. We'll do Sandbox as well. Oh my god, Raisin is so cute. I, oh my god, I want to name it Raisin. That is so cute. I like the name Raisin a lot. I agree with that, Allison. That's adorable. Um, okay, what else can we think of? Let's do, like, one more option. I don't want it to be too overwhelming. Hi, Varian. Welcome in, and congratulations on getting a channel membership for the month. Thank you so much for being a subscriber and supporting the channel. Um, we are currently in the process of thinking up of a name for the island. Any other names, we'll quickly post them in, in chat, and then we'll be, we'll be good to go. Someone else also commented in, on Twitter, um, Lemonade, which I thought was really cute as well. Um, I'm trying to look through the options that people gave me. Popsicle was also another option, which I think is kind of cute. But I am looking for, a, hopefully, a slightly shorter name. Like, something like six or seven letters, not maybe ten. Um, Sandy Castle's cute, too. <laughs> I just got, I got another gifted membership. Oh, my God, that's so fun. Yes, congratulations. Okay, we'll do the three options. We'll do Juice Box. Ooh, Flip Flop is cute, too. Do I like Flip Flop enough, though? I do like Flip Flop. Um, you know what? We'll go with the three. So we have Juice Box, Capri Sun, and Sandbox. I'm going to start the poll, and I will give you guys, like, a couple of minutes to vote. I want to call an island Razzleberry. Oh, that's a cute name, too. I like that one as well. I'm interested to see what's going to win. Okay, Sandbox, nobody likes <laughs> That one already went down the drain. So I'm interested to see how long. We'll give it like a couple minutes. We're obviously at the point where we have to name the island. So I can't go further with the uh, naming. But we'll see which one you guys like. Give me one second. I'm just going to turn off my camera for just a minute. <laughs> I'm <getting> back. <laughs> Sundance is cute too and I am a huge uh, cinephile too so Sundance to me is definitely very appropriate okay Capri Sun is like kicking juice boxes ass I appreciate the like one or two people that maybe voted for sandbox <laughs> gives it a little bit of a chance you know Capri Sun grew on me so I voted for that super cute there it's so cute 
Sandbox kind of makes me think of cat litter. LOL. <laughs> That's fair enough. <laughs> That's fair. That is fair. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll give you guys another like minute or two to vote. Come on, there's over 50 of you currently watching, so put your votes in the chat. What of the beach, summer beach kid court island names I should choose? <laughs> Capri Sun, Jesse. I like it too. Capri Sun is adorable. It is really, really cute. I feel like that's going to be the unanimous winner, but I will give you guys another minute to decide. And then we will go with probably Capri Sun. And now the question is, should I do Capri Sun with two words or one? Because a part of me is going two words, another part of me is going just do the one, because I feel like two might be overdoing it. I don't know. I kind of like sometimes doing islands that have two names versus one. Like two, two letter versus one. Dalliance? Oh, that's cute. That one's cute, too. I like that. All right, another 30 seconds, and then we will decide. I like Capri Sun, but I had to vote for a Sandbox. Sandbox is really cute, but now I am thinking about, I am thinking about Litter Box, which is definitely, a Litter Box would be such a cute name for a uh, cat island, an all-cat island. Like, if you were doing, like, a stray-themed island for, like, the video game, that one would be very cute, too. Oh, someone do a full cat island and do sandbox is the name. <laughs> or litter box if you want to be more literal. Oh, gosh, that is so cute. You like it as two words? Everyone likes it as two words? Okay, we are closing voting in three, two, one. Okay, it seemed pretty unanimous at this point, so we are definitely going to do a Capri Sun. It won by 63%. Appreciate the people who did vote for the other options as well, though. <laughs> But we will do Capri Sun. I am obviously going to do it in a lowercase letter. I never do uppercase letters for my islands. I don't like uppercase names. Let me see what Capri Sun looks like with one word and then with two. Mm. See, I like it so much better with two. I like it so much better with two. Two words for the name? I agree. I agree. I agree. And we're in saying two. Sandbox is a great name for an old cat island because you, if you ever have a sandbox, <laughs> it's very true. That's very true. Okay, let's go with Capri Sun, two words. It's officially settled. And like you guys know, it is going to be a summer beach kid core town. It's not going to be your traditional like kid core, kid core. It's just going to be bright colors. I should probably do like maybe more of a retro summer summer town or something i'm gonna figure out the the theme okay i will we'll come up with the concept i will solidify it but i'm really really pleased with that one i think that's a very very cute name and thank you guys so much for suggesting it i really really appreciate it i'm very happy with it it's so cute i did vote for juice box but respect capri sun see i feel like they're like one in the same a little bit because juice boxes are capri all juice all capri suns are juice boxes but not all juice boxes are capri suns you know. If you one word, you can capitalize it as Capri Sun. Oh, that would actually work pretty well. It's okay. I'm okay with it. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of doing um, uh, capital letters when it comes to my names. I don't know why. I'm really weird with it. What does Capri mean? Well, there is like a meaning behind it, but Capri Sun is a, is a juice box brand that's found in like North America. And other parts of the world, I'm sure. I was on top chat. No wonder I was behind in chat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, sometimes it happens. I've done that too. Capri Suns are juice bags. Okay, they're juice... They're juice holders. Okay? <laughs> Does that make more sense? Okay, fine. Capri Suns are juice, are juice bags. They're not juice boxes. Fine, fair enough, fair enough. I haven't actually had a Capri Sun in a very long time. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm an imposter. I have an island name named Juice Box. But I don't, or Capri Sun, but I haven't had a Capri Sun in probably like several years. <laughs> probably pre pandemic for sure. Okay, cute. I'm happy with it. Imagine if she named it Juice Bags. Juice Bags, welcome to my island of Juice Bags. I hope you appreciate that. <laughs> 
There's something with our generation that likes to type with no capitals. For sure. I will go out of my way to t like to text a sentence or tweet a sentence with no capitals. Like I will go out of my way and my phone will obviously autocorrect it to capital letters. I will go out of my way to do lowercase. I don't like uppercase. I will text uppercase, but when it comes to like my um like my tweeting or like posting something like on Discord or like wherever, I will do lowercase. Isn't Capri a sky blue color? It's, I know there is another word ca for Capri. I also know that Capri is a place that you can go to in Italy. Um, let me see. So it's an island in Italy. I'm Googling it. Apparently it's, an, it's a color too. Let me see. Yeah, it's like a color. It's Capri blue, which is a color of blue. Yes, you're right. But it's also, yeah, a... um. It's also a place in Italy that you can visit too. <laughs> Kool Aid would have been cute. Kool Aid would have been very cute too. That would have been actually very cute. I like Kool Aid as well. Um, do I have my thing? Yes. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Great mind think alike. <laughs> nice dream to visit my island, the Dodo Coat. No self-promotion in chat. Please and thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, you can turn capitalization off. I know. I'm just being very lazy. <laughs> I am very lazy when it comes to doing that. Gotta keep it consistent. Exactly. Exactly. I don't care who it's everything. <laughs> oh, you're too funny. Oh, you're too funny. Oh, auto carrot. Got me opposite. I need caps. Otherwise, my sentences do not look right. Fair enough. Everyone has their own style of typing. But when it comes to, like, my texting, I typically do, like, text in coherent, like, regular sentences, you know? So. It is what it is. Okay. Let's go to sleep. Let's get some sleep. I'm on the wrong thing. Okay. I'm pretty sure it came from Tumblr back in the day. It's so interesting. Oh, for sure. For sure. I feel like our entire generation, anyone in like their like mid 20s to very early 30s are heavily influenced by what we we did when we were on um uh what's it called uh on Tumblr back in the day. <laughs> In Australia, flip flops are called flip flops so that island name could get awkward very quickly. I kn I know flip flops also mean thongs in 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 Australia. <laughs> what wine are you drinking? I'm currently having a uh, Chardonnay. I'm actually not sure of the brand simply because it was something that was just in our house i didn't actually get a chance to go out shopping for the wine for this week so it's just a white chardonnay which if you know me i am a very sweet wine drinker so i like my whites i like my my rosés over over red wine although i do like red wine it's just i have to have a certain kind of red wine otherwise it's not like it's not really for me i have i type so fast that i have a lot of typos oh me too me too unless i'm like trying to like make myself appear smarter then i'm like okay i have to pay attention to what i'm typing it depends if i'm talking to like friends or just random people i'm texting then it couldn't matter less to me <laughs> to be honest and typos are a vibe though they really are they really really are Hey, me too. It looks like a rosé on camera. It actually does. It's just a very cloudy... You can see it's a very cloudy white. Doesn't have much pink to it. It's much more... Like, yellowy than pinky. But I love a good rosé. Love me a good rosé. My favorite... One of my favorite drinks to drink in the summer is a rosé sangria. Or, like, a white wine sangria. But rosé sangria is, like, top. It's so good. It's just making me this this island is making me so excited for summer. 
because it is so cold still where I am. Like, we've had, like, okay weather a couple of days, but it's been just cold and rainy. It rained again today. It rained yesterday. So I'm very much in the headspace for summer weather, even though I'm much more of a spring or fall person than, like, hot, hot weather. But this is making me want just warm weather. Just warm weather, you know? Something, like, moderately decent temperatures, like... Good middle. Good middle. Ooh, so yummy. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually, for myself, I know a lot of people are like this too. When it comes to alcohol of any kind, I am a very much, um, I drink everything. Like, I like wine. I like beer. I like mixed drinks. Um, and I thought the older I get, the more, like, I would focus on one specific type of drink. But no, I love, I love, um, I like everything. I like everything. I'm a very, I'm a very chill person when it comes to my alcohol. I'll have anything. I also like my regular drinks too. My number one drink, a drink drink, is either iced tea or root beer. If we're talking about like carbonated drinks, I'm a very huge iced tea person. I love iced tea. Um, and root beer is like my like carbonated drink of choice if I had to choose. Florida is back to being hot and sticky outside. Oh no. <laughs> oh. See, I wish we could switch weather. Because I'll take the the hot over how disgustingly cold it is here. It's not even like horrible, horrible, but it's cold. It's cold and it's gross and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I forgot to ask how uh, are you today this week? I am doing well, thank you. I hope you're doing good as well. Welcome in. I know I already said hi, Varian, but welcome. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Not an alcohol fan, but Bailey's got me in a chokehold. I only drink at New Year's, though. I love Bailey's. My mom and me are huge Bailey's drinkers. Only for holiday, though. I'm not, like, someone who will casually pull out a glass of Bailey's for, like, a casual day. It is definitely, like, a New Year's or Christmas kind of thing. For sure. L uh, girl LL Twins. People are always surprised when I'm a whiskey taste. At a whiskey tasting? Oh, yeah, for sure. I like whiskey, too, actually. I like whiskey. I like, uh, I'm more of a rum drinker. If I had to choose like a type of alcohol like that, I much prefer like wine or uh, rum, but I like everything. I kind of, I'm kind of like an every bit, a little bit of everything kind of person. I'm a big fan of IPA beers. IPA beers are really good. Actually, I haven't had one in a very long time. After this island, I'm either going to do a tropical city because my other island on my other switch um, light that stopped working or a little farm island or maybe Japanese cherry blossom city. Ooh, I think you honestly can't go wrong with any of those themes, but I know you said you were really interested in doing a Japanese city, so that would be a lot of fun. I think that would be a lot of fun too. We don't know cold weather just for two months in every year. See, we, where I am, we get cold weather over half the year, unfortunately. Sadly, sadly, sadly. Okay, let's start doing some daily tasks, because why not? I'm obviously going to try to get through this island as quickly as possible so we can start decorating. Um, I don't like to rush the beginning of the game, but I also like to rush the beginning of the game because I really want to start decorating, too. Johnny Walker Black is my jam. I don't think I've actually ever had a Johnny Walker. I mean, maybe I have, maybe like years ago, but sounds good. Rum and Cola is good. I love rum and Coke. I love rum and Coke. I'm actually a Amaretto and Coke fan. If you if you like something a little bit sweeter, Amaretto is very very um, sweet. Just be aware if you are someone who would like to try it. Um, if you like rum and Cokes though, Amaretto and Cokes is a very good option too. No worries, Rika. Have a great rest of your night. It's a very beautiful coastal place in Italy. Capri, it is. It is a very beautiful place. There was a peanut butter whiskey that I was skeptical about, and I had someone make me a shot with that and whipped cream. So, so, oh, that sounds good. I would try that. I would 100% try that. I'm always up for trying a, um, a drink at least once, and that actually sounds very good. Have to head out early. It's my bedtime. Can't wait to see more of this island. Thank you so much, Becca. Have a great rest of your night. I hope you feel, uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and I will see you soon. Okay, um, we'll just talk to you and kind of get everything started. I haven't been even remotely paying attention to the dialogue, so I'm not sure at what point we are in the game. Um, 
Let me just see what he has. Okay, we'll grab both of those things in a second. I'm probably going to end up upgrading Nook's Cranny on this island. So, um, I don't have to worry about buying stuff from them because I'll buy everything. And I wouldn't mind getting everything as quickly as possible. Oh, I'm trying to sell to you. Wrong one. I would love to buy something from him, but I have no money. I have no bells. I'm a broke. I want to sell. I want to sell you and you. I actually have to go back outside and probably grab my, um, self some more, um, sticks. Because I just sold the sticks that we had. But <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Let's just leave here for a second. Meant to say so good. I figure that's what Yuba said. No problem. <laughs> do you like seltzers? I do. I do. I haven't, I don't have them very often, but I have tried a couple that I've enjoyed. My usual go-to when it comes to like beer or um, drinks of like that variety is I'm typically like a Heineken or a Stella drinker. Um, I also really like um, Belgian Moon, which is a wheat beer, which is really good. You typically would have it with like a, an orange slice. Um, those are really good too, but I don't really drink beer a ton, not because it's not like something I enjoy. It's just typically like not my go-to when I'm, I'm out. Typically I'll be like wine or like a mixed drink of some kind, sometimes beer, but it depends. All right, let's grab a bunch of these. I think I get to do the, um, DIY thing. So I'm going to get myself a bunch of sticks so we can make some bug nets and fishing lures come on i swear it's only when i'm actually looking for sticks that i can't not get a single stick okay fine <laughs> thank you for the one thank you so much for the one stick i appreciate that um a wine sounds good i'm a wine and a rosé fan myself but i haven't drank any alcohol since christmas i think i've had alcohol maybe two times since since christmas I went out for dinner last week and I had some some red wine and then I went out with a, a couple of friends like about a month ago and I probably I think I had some then or not I think I did have some then but yeah I'm not typically like a grab alcohol on the daily person it's more for casual experience like casual casual drinking or in instances like this where I'm streaming to people on the internet you know <laughs> Health kick gold, LL not paying attention as I type is full of com uh, typos. Okay, we were just talking. Typos are just a part of life. It's just a part of life, which is perfectly fine. Johnny Walker is a birthday tradition with my father in law and dad. Oh, that's sweet though. It's nice to have like good, um, like have certain drinks or like food that has like a sentimental value. Like me, my mom, my aunt always have Bailey's on Christmas or uh, like. Easter or something and to me that's one of my favorite traditions because we all after dinner after we've all had dessert and coffee or whatever we're just sitting there with our Baileys and it's really good okay how many I need a few more sticks just a couple it's been so long since I've been on an island that actually has green grass I forgot what it looked like <laughs> it's been such a long time my last like three islands have all been farm or fall islands and then a winter island so I completely forgot what summer looks like in this game Mm. If you guys remember my, um, what's it called? My uh, coastal beach town island that I reset without finishing, we will be incorporating a lot of that coastal beach town vibe into this island. So just be, be, um, I know a lot of people were like, oh god, why did you reset that island? It was such a nice island. I love that island. I just, it wasn't the right time. For the island you know so right now we will be incorporating a lot of that back into to this new this new island which is very exciting because i i miss that island for sure i love summer usually but the summer here has been so hot this season i would actually enjoy some cold weather lol i'm mostly in a subtropical climate um all year round oh yeah no summer hot weather can get just as tedious and like painful to deal with painful might be too strong of a word but like can be very difficult to deal with as much as cold weather can be like i don't i don't even remotely blame you i don't even remotely blame you okay let's make myself some fishing rods i keep some fishing lures let's make myself some fishing rods and 
a bug net. What's really good is because we're in the summer, there's tons of bugs to catch, so it'll be easy to get ourselves some Nook Miles. Um, and we have to think of what are the good ways to make Nook Miles quickly. Just so we can get to our 5k. So you can write on the, the bulletin board. You can change your, um, your passport picture, your passport. What else? There's other ways to do it too. I'm just trying to remember what they are. But yeah, no, I'm very much ready for summer just because I've been dealing with too much cold lately. Too much cold but then it'll hit summer here and we're supposed to get a really 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 hot summer this summer because of how moderate the temperatures have been in uh the winter we've had really cold weather and then out of nowhere it goes to like moderately coldish warm so uh we're gonna get insanely hot weather very very soon here in ohio it's starting to get warm and sticky humid Ooh, see sticky humid is my least favorite type of, of hot weather i just like I like 20 degrees or like 80, 82 for you Americans, like 82, 85 ish range, sunny, but with like some nice, um, nice, nice breeze, you know, take some pictures. Oh yeah. Taking a picture also gives you nook miles. True, true, true. Gonna head out. Take care everyone. And thanks for the stream. Thank you so much, bug. Have a great rest of your night. And thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a good one. And we'll see you next time. Okay, let's just get... So we get 50 miles for doing this too. Let me go quickly... Do this. Just because I have enough to make the bug net. I want to make a bug net. I think getting stung by wasps twice is one. That is true. Okay, so we have... Let's do the photo really quickly. Photo... Alright, good. In LA, it's supposed to be getting warmer, but we've had lightning yesterday. So weird. See, even with, I think when it comes to hotter weather in like places like LA and more like warmer all year temperatures, usually when it's about to get much hotter for you guys, you'll get that hit of like the rain, but then also lightning and like, because light lights one of the reasons i think we get lightning partially is because of like the hot air in like the top of the temperature i might be wrong i don't know <laughs> but yeah no i feel like everywhere in the world we're just having such horrible climate change and it's just messing up everything everywhere so it's a struggle i'm always so bad for getting stung by wasps in the AC. <laughs> all right let's start shaking the trees actually let me hang on look at me with 1000 bells Look at me going up in the world. Okay, let's quickly make a little heart. Do a blue heart to match the sky. Let's see if I can make this look like relatively decent. No, that looks like absolutely not. That looks like a booty. Let's do something slightly cuter. That is not remotely cute, but that is what we are going with. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, let's get ourselves more. I think that's 300. Yeah, okay. So we have 1,400. Let's change our passport. Let's just change our picture. To another ugly photo of myself because I have nothing else new yet and I still have the same face. Turn around, Dahlia. There we go. <laughs> Looking so much better than the first one, of course. And then we'll grab that. Talking to the villagers is one of them. Yes. Okay, we have to go find the two villagers. Because that means you've, like, played one active day in the community. Okay, let's go find them. I love how green the grass is. I forgot how much I love summer in this game. Like, I truly... I love all seasons of this game. Summer is one of my favorites, for sure. Hello, Cody. I wonder if he's going to grow on me. Because Cody's not my favorite villager, but he is really cute. Thank you for the hat. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Alright, let's put the hat on. Looking good. It could have been worse. Hi, Pashmina. I'm trying to remember what villager, what island I had Pashmina on. It's really annoying. I cannot remember. It was nice talking to you. Gotta head off for the night. Thanks again for the membership. Of course, Kaylee. Thank you so much for being here and have a great rest of your night. Thank you. 
All right, let's do some shaking. Let's try to find ourselves some wasps. Hopefully we can find them pretty quickly. <laughs> And what you guys taught me the last time you did a reset is that apparently the two wasps automatically respawn in like the areas that are available to you when you first start. So one of these areas has to have the two um the two wasps. Hi just joined. What is the island theme? I'm so excited to see it come together. Thanks, you wiggles. And it is a Okay, it's really hard to explain. It is a beach, just, just think of it as a summer beach town with kid core elements. So like a, a kid core beach town. I keep struggling to just explain it, but yeah, that's what it is. But thank you so much for dropping in. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. I hope you're having a great weekend and thank you so much for dropping in. And ooh, I'm back, those are amazing starters. We really did luck out, it's true, we did, we did. And I honestly was, like, debating restarting, but I also love where my, um, my plaza is. My, this is my, this is my map, for all those who are curious. This is the new map. My island is called Capri Sun, because it is, like I said, like a kid core beach summer town. And it's super cute, and those are my starters. We have Pashmina and Cody. And now we're just doing some daily tasks to get 5k note miles. <laughs> Oops, I made some food, so I missed the theme reveal. It's okay, Lord Quest. I just revealed it, so hopefully, hopefully you guys like the new theme. And thank you to everyone. Oop, I did not get that well. Thank you to everyone who participated in voting for the new island name and for helping me pick it out. I'm very excited for the new theme. I think it's gonna be very, very fun. And I think some of my favorite islands have come from you guys helping me choose the names and choosing the themes and kind of like picking out like what we should do and I'm very excited for what this hopefully new island is gonna be it still got capitalized it did I'm very mad about that it always capitalizes on your uh, map which is very annoying <laughs> it also capitalizes when people mention the name so like when the villagers call it or like when like Tom Nook says it or Isabel it I just I pretend to ignore it because I don't see it I don't see it Catching bugs in Fisher 1 2? Yes. So we're going to catch all the bugs that we find. And now we're trying to find the wasps. They are probably on the other side. Knowing anything, I probably already shook some of these trees, but we're just going to keep doing it. It's fine. Catching fish and breaking tools for Nook Miles? Yes, that is very true as well, which is why we're going to use our things as much as possible, as quickly as possible. And also, hi, Sean. Welcome in. How are you? Oh, is it Sean or Sheen? Please let me know in the comments. But welcome in. I hope you're doing good. The perfect theme. I love it. Thank you. I'm very excited for this theme. This is going to be something I'm really going to enjoy decorating and I am very looking forward to it. And thank you guys so much as well for the 80 likes. Um, it's the most amount of likes I've gotten in a stream in a very long time and I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the new island theme and resetting with me and the face cam stream which is also something I almost never do. Um, so I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for the support. It makes me think of a water park, but town core. Honestly, yeah, kinda. <laughs> it's definitely gonna have town core elements for sure. Okay, where are these stupid wasps? The one time I'm actually looking for a wasp. <laughs> Honestly, you get really lucky with your map and starters. Excited to see how this island comes along. I've had four islands, and my best starters were Paul. Paula and Genji, Pearly for the for Genji, he's so cute. Paula's kind of cute. Paula is kind of cute. I love Genji though. I would honestly have picked um, it for just Genji. I have had Genji as a starter before too, and I love him. Okay, clearly they're not anywhere over on this side of the map. Let's go over here <laughs> and see if we can find the wasps over here. I'm doing good. Hope you are as well, Dali. I love your videos. Thank you so much. And it's Sean, okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Just want to make sure, because I know that sometimes people pronounce or spell Sheen like Sean. And I also know there's so many different ways to spell Sean, which I didn't even realize until I was like in my teens. I always thought that you could always spell Sean S-H-A-W-N because I knew Sean from like Boy Meets World. Um, but you're welcome. Thank you for letting me know. And if I ever, this is not just for, for Sean, this is for everybody. If I ever mispronounce your name or if I say your name incorrectly in chat, please let me know so I can correct myself for future. Um, I never want to get any of your names incorrect. Okay, we got ourselves one of the bugs. Let's find the other one. 
please be this one. I feel like this is one of the last few. <laughs> no, it's not. This is one of our last few uh, trees. I also have to pick a bunch of the weeds. I feel like the weeds are preventing some of the wasp spawns. Yep, yeah, there we go. Let's faint. <laughs> Hi, patients. We should welcome in. How are you? Welcome, welcome. You joined at a very good time. I just passed out. <laughs> but welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Not gonna lie, I honestly forgot I was drinking this wine. Um, <laughs> and if you are curious, this is wine night on the channel. So grab your beverages, regardless if they are alcoholic or otherwise, and join us as we reset. This is my new island. If you are just joining in, I reset my tropical jungle city island. This is my new island, Capri Sun, and it is a summer beachy kid core island. I feel like that's probably what I'm going to end up describing it as, a summer beachy kid core, but it might be a little bit different as I describe it. I feel like kid core is not a good way to describe this island. I'm going to, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. It'll be fine. The next time you guys see me, I'll have it, I'll have it down packed. I promise. Where is Pashmina so that she can give me medicine? Pashmina. Fun fact, I have two brother-in-laws with Sean and Sean... Then there's me and Sean. Oh no. <laughs> Sometimes you just, it just ends up that way. You end up with like people, like other people in your family that aren't your like biological family that have the same name as you. I've had the same thing happen to me too. Not like me specifically. Okay, you need to stop fishing so that you can give me. I go right through her fishing rod. Look at this. Right through the fishing rod. Okay, I'm good, Pashmina. I need you. Step away from the fish. Step away from the fish. I'm going to piss her off and we've only been on this island for like 15 minutes. Please go away. Do you have any build ideas already? A few. This island is definitely going to be a lot more chill in terms of like big build ideas. I feel like a lot of the builds are going to be... Oh, don't make fun of my face. <laughs> give me the medicine thing thank you appreciate it either they give you the medicine or they give you the diy i appreciate the diy thank you um but yeah i feel like a lot of the builds for this island are going to be a lot more like chill it's just going to be like a generic kind of town um probably with a couple of, like obviously like beachy builds and like areas that are like um that kind of fit like a seaside kind of vibe but it's definitely going to be a lot more generic than like what my western town is going to be, which is going to have a lot more structured builds, if you if that makes sense. I want to know how the person who saves you from the wasps escaped them too. Who knows? Who who knows? Okay, let me let me Oh, I did <laughs> I didn't actually learn the medicine thing yet. So that's kind of that kind of kind of defeats the purpose of trying to make one. Okay, let's make some medicine so that my face was pretty again. There we go. Although I um, lean to more retro or modern. Definitely more more retro. Like, it's definitely going to give... Think of, like, a beach side town in, like, the 80s. Think of that kind of vibe. I feel like that's what I'm kind of going for. So think of, like... Like... I can't think of a single movie or something that takes place in the 80s. But yeah, think of, like, beach side town in, like, the 80s or 90s. Think, like, Saved by the Bell vibes. If anyone, if anyone is old enough like me in the comments to know what I mean when I say that. <laughs> okay, I want to sell, and I also want to grab some things. Okay, this is 600, this one's 13. Let me just grab this because I have exactly 1300 bells. And then we can save ourselves some, or sell ourselves our fruit and the bugs that we have. I also have to give Tom Nook some bells for blathers, but right now I would like to make some money. So that's my priority for right now um all of that where did i get the mountain bike from oh from the tree from the tree from the tree what's a good farm core island name Ooh. um hmm. i'm so bad at thinking of other people's island names oh my god my first thing went to like a vegetable name no don't call it a vegetable name um Oh, I'm trying to think. Give me a second. Give me a second to think. Oh, I wanted to sell those things. No. Um. 
I'm trying to think of. I'm getting distracted. And I'm trying to think of good town or good uh, farm core names. Um, I'm so bad at thinking of names. I'm so bad at thinking of names just for my own islands, much less other people's islands. Um, if anyone has any suggestions for farm core islands in the comments, please leave them down below. <laughs> I am a horrible at thinking of names for people. What did I name my own farm town? What didn't I name it? Um, see, my only farm island I've ever done, I called it Coffee Bean because it was also an autumn town. So that doesn't exactly like scream farm core. Like that has like, a, that's kind of like multi, multi named, you know? Oops, I was thinking like Footloose. Footloose works too. Kind of the same kind of vibe. Definitely within the same like stream of things. That's from the 80s, right? Yeah. I love the original Footloose movie, too. And the new one. I like both. I like both. Ooh, another way of good way of thinking about it is, like, if you want to think of old movies, like, Dirty Dancing. Like, thinking of, like, the, the, um, the place that they went to in the summer. Like, that kind of vibe. But, like, much more retro. So maybe not, like, a good comparison. But, like, that's where my brain went. I love that movie, too. Barley is a cute name. Oh, Barley's so cute. I like that one. Like, Days and Confused vibes, but Summer, or, like, Rocket Power, Summer Kids Boardwalk. Yes, exactly. Exactly, exactly. Do you guys know what I mean when I say that? Okay, let me grab a slingshot, just because I need a slingshot. I've missed out on, like, two different, um... Did I grab it? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. No, I did. Um, I missed out on, like, two different, um... Thingies. Um, balloons. You can tell the wine is starting to hit my brain just a little bit because I can't find words. I can't form words properly. Okay, let me go place down the two items we grabbed. Let's put you... Oh, no, I want to put the hammock here. Right next to my thing. I'll 100% be using this item on this island. Like, again, think of tropical beachy vibes. 100% I would be using that item. And I'll just put the mountain bike here and the plastic canister. Perfect. Okay. How many more Nook Miles do I need? We need another 1,500, give or take. What else can we do? Let's just do some bug catching and fishing. Um, we can also sell some weeds. So let me just do some weed picking as well. Brighton Isles, that could be cute. Farm core names can be Short Stack. Oh, that is such a cute name. That is so cute. Short Stack, that's adorable. That's so cute. I like that one a lot. I like that one a lot. I'm trying to think. I can literally not think of a single island name that's good for farm core. I love the name Barley, though. That one's super cute. Very, very simple, but also, like, it gives you the, the illusion of, like, an island where like a lot of like crops grow, you know, which I think is very cute. All right, how many? Oh boy. I was picking weeds on my other island the other day, and I by other day I mean yesterday, um, just so that the weeds that I planted on my entrance would grow. And I had so many weeds on the back of my island because I was time traveling. Oh gosh. Bursley, bursley could work. Parsley for farm core. See, that's so cute. I like the idea of naming it based on a, like, um, a seasoning or, like, a, what they call garnish. Orchid land can be cute. Orchid is, uh, or orchid land. That can be kind of cute. It's a little bit long because it has to be ten letters or less, but that is cute. Definitely within the right vibe, especially if you're going to do an island that has orchard, orchards and other, um, like, bigger builds and sections like that you know and to anyone who's just dropping in i hope you're having a wonderful night thank you so much for dropping in and say hello thank you so much for the lurks if you're just lurking and we are currently in the process of having just reset my new island and it is going to be a beachy summer kid court island and it's called capri sun which is very cute i'm actually loving the name more and more the more i say it um it's such a cute name i love it Foxtail or Basil. Basil's really cute. And also, hi, Beep. Welcome in. How are you? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for dropping in to say hello. And Basil's really cute, too. 
barley is probably still my favorite. Barley is just really, it has like this, like, this lit to it, you know what I mean? Periwinkle's really cute too. Periwinkle's a really good spring island name, especially, because it gives like flower cutesy vibes, you know? Daffodil works too. Daffodil's a really cute name. I love the name Daffodil. And I love daffodils too. So that could be a very good option as well. Hopefully you find some inspo from those names, Elizabeth. <laughs> and I, I I haven't been any help. I have given no no advice. Everyone else in chat is much is much uh, more creative than I. It takes me at least three to five business days to think of a single island name just for myself. I didn't even think of the name that we chose. You guys did. <laughs> but I love it. I love the name Capri Sun. I really like Basil. Basil is so cute. I also like bee names, too. I don't know why. Bee just rolls off the tongue really well. Ooh, I'll take you, please, and thank you. I really love this theme. I can't wait to see what comes of it. Thank you so much. I am extremely excited for this theme. It is definitely... I've done Tropical before, and I tried my hand at Coastal Beach Town, which never became anything. So it's going to be very fun to experiment with this new theme for sure. All right, let's sell the weeds. We should get ourselves some more things. And then just do a little bit of fishing and... Um, catching bugs and then we should make we should reach our 5k pretty quickly it's just gone 2 a.m so i'm gonna head to bed thank you for the cozy stream have fun with capri sun thank you so much livy have a great rest of your night and thank you so much for being here i hope you have a great rest of your weekend um okay what's this i want to sell i want to sell you and you and you i keep forgetting to learn the leaf umbrella thank you it's so funny, almost 150 weeds, and that basically gave me, like, no bells. Ooh, only another 50, and then we'll get more. So let me just go grab another 50 things. Bergamot, that could work. Hayseed farm, oh, that's so cute. Or even just hayseed. That one could be really cute. Um, let me just craft another fishing rod because I know the other one is going to break in a minute. Um, and let me just craft the campfire just so that we can put a campfire outside. Time Isle. That could be cute. My island name is Cottontail if you want to steal it for farm court. Cottontail is adorable. Oh, I love that one. I like Cottontail a lot. Okay, um, let me, hang on, let me learn you. I always feel like at the beginning I'm like running around going, what do I do? What do I do next? What do I do next? Okay, let's plant the campfire down, or put the campfire down, um, and grab 50 more weeds. Hope you guys are having an amazing time watching me pick weeds. <laughs> I feel like it's a lot of fun. It's definitely something very enjoyable. Oh, hay bale would be so cute. Hay bale to me screams um, farm court if you had a, um, a a farm court island in the fall. Just because hay bales to me scream farm or like scream fall time. I like hay bale though. That is very, very cute. Like I would definitely name my island that. Especially if I had a, a farm court island in the fall. Which I have already done farm court in the fall. So I should probably not do that again. <laughs> It is a very, very cute name. Cottontail's cute, but I had, had like an Easter theme with it. Cottontail definitely associates itself with, with like bunnies, for sure. For sure, for sure. Peak entertainment, weed picking. I mean, I'm, I I live to please. And you guys can see, like, this is what I look like. If I wasn't streaming right now and this is just me, like, doing it, but I'd be like this. Completely dead eyes. <laughs> completely dead eyes but it's okay it's okay as long as we it's it's good though because it's being productive and we're like getting rid of all the weeds that are like annoying and that we don't have to deal with them later <laughs> these are really great name ideas you guys are coming up with names that i never even would think of in a million years never in a million years 
Style, you're making me want to restart again hearing the beginning soundtrack, but I'm in the middle of my Sicilian town theme. That is such a fun theme. Do not restart. I know how tempting it is because the beginning early game is so nostalgic, but don't do it. Finish your Sicilian island and then restart. And also, I want to do a Mediterranean, Sicilian, Greek-inspired... I know I just said multiple different uh, countries, but it's just like... Just that kind of vibe island so badly. And I feel like that might be the next theme I do after my western town is finished. Either if I finish this one first or my western town. Because I told you guys last time I want to do like a Mediterranean styled island so, so badly. With like the blues and the white colors. It's just so pretty. I've seen so many people do such beautiful mediterranean sicilian greek inspired islands and i'm like i need to i need to do it but i have it still <laughs> three almost four four years into this game and i still haven't done it but it's okay eventually that'll be a, a theme for future dahlia to to possibly do i would love to see you do a full cottage core island i've done like Semi cottage core before, but I definitely haven't done full cottage core, like full, full on cottage core to like the most generic way to explain cottage core. It's true, I haven't. But it's funny too because I called my first island a cottage core island. It was not a cottage core island at all, like at all. Like I just threw my favorite villagers together and made like a semi spring island and called it cottage core. I should really, really, really visit that island because that was a very um, interesting island to say the least. Ooh, I can sell seashells too. Let me just grab the shells and see if there's any fish. I love watching myself on the monitor because I just see how stupid my faces are when I'm playing this game. I'm like, hmm. Like, no. Dahlia, soften your face. Soften the face. I hope you guys are enjoying also the face cam streams. And if you guys want to see more face cam, you have to let me know. You guys have to let me know. Do you guys like the face cam? Or do you prefer no face cam? Because at this point, I feel like the majority of you know me as a non-face cam streamer. But I would like to become more of a face cam streamer. And more actively talk to you guys. You know, one-on-one. -on -one. More personalized, you know? I also have to add more of a nice um, layout to the streams in terms of like a nice little border around my face so it looks more decent because this is very plain and basic. I just don't have one um, already set up. So that'll be something I also have to deal with in the future. Where are the fish? No fish. No fish. No, but really, where the fish? There was, there's one. I ran around the entire beach. There's no fish. What? Okay, here. Please let me catch you. Thank you. I took inspo from my grandparents' home in Florida, Sicily, and Regula Sicily is where my mom and her siblings grew up. My GMA and aunt are in the residence. They passed away in 2005 and 2015, so it's a special island. Oh, that's so... I'm so sorry for your loss, but I'm glad... It's nice when people manage to find comfort in, in making an island that inspires... Is inspired by people in in their life i've done i've seen many people do that in the past and it's really really sweet i've seen people do these beautiful memorials and um special areas on their maps for their family members or friends um it was, that's really really sweet i'm glad it has such a special meaning to you my family i'm half italian so i do have a lot of family members who are from um various parts of italy my dad's italian um so it would definitely have a special place in my heart too if I ever did a Italian inspired island of some kind. I think no face cams and videos and face cam streams would be a good mix. For sure. I probably would not do face cams for videos. Maybe like an intro kind of vibe. Because I've been meaning to start doing some intros for some of my videos with face cam. But for sure I probably wouldn't do um, much of my um, actual videos with face cam. Too much, too much work. Too much work, I'm not gonna lie. 
have a good night gabby thank you so much for being here thank you so much for dropping in to say hello and i hope you have a great rest of your weekend thank you um we're probably gonna wrap up here in a couple minutes too we got everything done that we needed to i just want to make sure i get to 5k and then we'll be doing our next stream in like monday or tuesday probably um, like I said, I either have my video for my next, uh, my first build, either going up tomorrow or Monday if I can finish editing it tonight. Um, but for sure, the next stream will probably be Tuesday. I also need to learn how to properly catch fish. I feel like that might help me a little bit. Four years of playing this game and I still don't know how to properly catch a fish. When is the fourth year anniversary of Animal Crossing? I know it's March. Is it March 20th or 22nd or something? I know it's like in the 20s. But I didn't buy the game the first day it came out because I didn't have my Switch yet when it came out in 2020. So I don't remember the exact day that it launched. But I can't believe we're already at the four-year anniversary. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, let me catch you. Where'd it go? Okay, there we go. This wine's actually very good. I'm glad I chose to go with it. Because I wasn't sure what drink wine I was gonna drink, a part of me was like, let's just grab something else. Like I was gonna choose like another option for the 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 alcohol of choice for tonight, but it's it's wine night. I have to go with the wine. I have to I have to stick with the theme. You know? Even if other people are drinking the wine, I have to drink the wine because it's like it's my theme. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Okay, where's where did that balloon go? Oh here it is. Oh it's gonna land in the water. Okay fine. If it lands in the water do I get a a thing? I do. Oh, that's awesome. Exciting. Okay. I was willing to take the loss for the balloon for the Nook Miles. Okay, we only need 150 more Nook Miles. Oh my god, we're so close. 20th, I think it was the 25th. I thought it was the 25th too. <laughs> See, I'm really bad at remembering dates as well, so that's another uh, difficulty for me. March 20th, 2020. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Ebony, for letting me know. Thank you, thank you. And yeah, I didn't get my own copy. So I got my cop. I bought the copy of the Switch when, or the copy of New Horizons when it first came out, like within a couple of days. But my issue was I didn't own a Switch until like the 28th or the 29th of March because I was online every single day looking for a Switch and everyone was buying them because we were in lockdown. So no one was able to get a copy um of new horizons or a copy of the switch like or, or or their own switch and then i was on best buy's website and they restocked within like a minute i bought it so quickly i didn't even think and then it immediately sold out like a second later <laughs> so i got very very lucky with my with my switch purchase because otherwise I would not have probably have gotten one for like a week or two or several weeks after that fact because you could not get them anywhere else. It was so hard to find a Switch when we first went into lockdown because everyone was at home playing on the Switches. And then New Horizons came out so everyone was buying it so that they could buy New Horizons. It, I miss, I miss, I miss lockdown a little bit sometimes. Not like a lot, but I miss like the like... <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing. I miss the waking up and just getting to play Animal Crossing and like just chill and not having to worry about responsibilities for a little bit, you know? I don't miss the pandemic and how scary it was when we first, it first started, but I feel like we all can agree that we miss a little bit of what the lockdown was like. For sure. Ooh, I got more. What I get, what I get, what I get. Ooh, we got 500. Yeah, there we go. Okay, anything else? No. Okay. Can I pay off my debt now, please? But yeah, I feel like we all miss it a little bit. A little bit, you know? I spent a lot of time with weed picking in the beginning. I would love an Egyptian South Island, if possible, as well as definitely a Mediterranean Island, for sure. Both would be a lot of fun. I think an Egyptian South Island would be really, really cool, though. For sure. I bought AC and H for my daughters, but they got bored with it quickly, so I tried and fell in love. One of my favorite games. See, that's, that's a very... It's a very, um... 
happy coincidence because obviously you bought it for them but you're the one that ended up loving it which is very very fun i feel like a lot of people who bought it for their kids during the pandemic ended up being the one playing it the most which like nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that it's fine i guess i would like to upgrade my house please has anyone actually stayed in the tent for more than like the five minutes that they have it or they do immediately upgrade from the tent to your first house <laughs> Because I do not like being in the little tent. I want my house. Although I do like the little houses. They are so cute to me. But I need the storage. So I wish there was a way for us to keep the the house. But get the, but get the storage, you know? Anyone knows what I mean? Okay, let's, let's do that. Yes, please. All right, we're done. We did all we had to do for today. I'm going to go with a yellow. I'm going to go with a yellow roof, please and thank you. Sounds good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All good. All good. I'm like staring at the screen as if I'm processing the words that are on the screen. I'm not. I'm not even remotely. Okay, we are done. I never got a Switch until the end of 2020 or 2021 because they never stocked enough of them where I am or they would always sold out online. I got ridiculously lucky, I think. Because the amount of people I knew who were trying to get Switches around that time who couldn't was like exponential. They were sold out everywhere. So I don't even blame you. But the fact that you managed to eventually get it is the important part. Um, but a little over a year ago, I found one at a pawn shop and bought it. So no, I, my family owns two. So funny how that happens. Oh, for sure. And it's funny too, because I'm pretty sure that that person that probably pawned it at the pawn shop maybe sold it after getting it during the pandemic for all you know. Interesting. Oh my God. Okay. We are officially finished for tonight's stream. We got a lot done. We have our new island. If you are just dropping in, this is my new beachy summer Kidcore Island called Capri Sun. I'm very excited for the new island theme and I appreciate you all for being here while we reset. Thank you so much for joining me for another wine night. I hope that you enjoyed. I almost finished my second glass of wine. Very close. Very close. But I hope that you guys all enjoyed today's stream. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I always say that like I'm in a, in a in a video. Make sure to like the stream if you haven't already and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Become a member if you would like to support the content further as well. And yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. We will be here very, very soon again with another stream in the next couple of days. Working on this island, working on my other island, and playing some other content as well. So thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, Varian. Bye, Mari. Oh, man, I'm so late. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you, though, Mari. Thank you so much for dropping in to say hello. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and I, I love talking to you guys. But thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great rest of your night. And I will see you all in the next stream. Bye, everyone.